wondering how nervous were you on the scoring stage with John Williams there watching, listening to the cues being recorded? Uh, for what? For um, for solo? For, no, <laughs> for solo. So that well, he he wasn't. What we did on that was he he had a day with an orchestra in Los Angeles where he recorded a load of you know his ideas throughout the movie very early on, and he had his themes in that and all his orchestration, and he got to mm -hmm. do about seven cues, and then and that was amazing. He did it in one session, and and he had great fun doing it, and and it was all perfect stuff. Obviously, between the time we did that and the end film, the film had changed a lot. And I take them, there's a few of those cues we used exactly. None of the recordings from LA were allowed to be used. So everything was, everything was redone. I even had to, I couldn't even use the, those recordings in the temp. We had to, oh, wow. we had to turn them into synth demos to use in the temp so we could move them around. And once we turn them into synth demos, then obviously I could sort of cut in and out of them and use bits and try things out. And once it was, in my system, as it were, I kind of, I then took it. Over. So unfortunately, then we went to uh, to Abbey Road to record everything. John wasn't able to come mm -hmm. at all. He by that time he'd left left it up to me. And and um, but he was there, you know, in spirit. So I I I, I was nervous about that. The, but I was nervous when he was finishing the last Star Wars at Fox, the dub of it. And popped in while I was recording um, Call of the Wild. Because first of all, he popped in um, and I was in the toilet, which is off, very often the case. <laughs> the worst so place I, for John Williams to pop into. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he was in the studio, I, but I'd oh, been okay. in the toilet. So I, I come out of the toilet, I, I walk into the studio and there's John Williams. And, and then of course, and it's lovely to see him, but of course, what are we doing that day? Uh, we're recording I think it was 14, 12 or 14 banjos. <laughs> you know, not beautiful, not some of the nice orchestra stuff, you know, not the nice choir stuff. I had 14 banjos <laughs> and John Williams walks into the studio while I'm still like just coming out of the toilet. It was kind of a bit of a, it was a wonderful moment and a sort of a <laughs> slight nightmare as well. It's like, you know, so, uh, so, uh, you know, it, it was it was lovely to see him and I was so touched that he would come and say hello and I was just like yeah. oh could you not have come yesterday when I had <laughs> something something nice did you have to come when I had 14 banjos and you have to be like it's the American frontier it's a you know this is why it's happening <laughs> oh I, I and, and how you explain to anyone why you have 14 banjos 